Hi guys, I have made it to Bangkok. I'll tell you a bit about the journey I've been on getting here and I'll also share my first experiences with you guys in this really new place that has been very um, intimidating, terrifying and very exciting. First, I went to Amsterdam airport by train from Belgium. I flew with EVA Air. I had never heard of it and was skeptical about this Taiwanese airline. But aside from the delays that caused us to have dinner at 2 a.m., it was really all right. We even had metal cutlery. I easily got a visa on arrival for 45 days instead of 30 days. This is only temporary and I also didn't need proof of vaccination or a PCR test. I highly recommend you to visit Thailand now as the rainy season ends. And I have just been on the plane for a really long time, then past the migrations, which went quite smoothly because there were a lot of migration desks. And then getting a SIM card, I needed cash and two ATMs didn't work. And then finally the third did. Um, and I managed to get a SIM card as well, even though I'll only be here for a few days before I continue my trip into Cambodia. Uh, still, I wanted some data to at least be able to sustain myself uh, in a new place that I've never been before. At the airport, they told me I could take a bus to my hostel for only 60 baht. It's bus S1 and it leaves from gate 7, where I also filled up my water bottle for free. Just get on the bus and wait in the aircon until it leaves. Then pay once they start driving. It was rush hour and it took us over an hour to reach the hostel. I stayed at Bed Station Hostel, which had a pool and a bar, which made it really easy to socialize and explore the infamous Khao San Road nearby. Khaosan Road is one of the places which is packed with adventurers, nightlife, hostels and the strangest street food. I went out with two Swiss guys and we ended up trying a very touristy scorpion, which I said I wouldn't try five minutes earlier. What you need to do here is eat cheap and bargain your heart out. The next days I visited the famous train market and floating market. I made a separate video about this and the temples you can't miss when you're in the city. Me and a friend then came across something very unique. As you can see there is a lot going on behind me and that is because the queen will arrive in 15 minutes. So we've decided to wait here for a bit and check it out. We all sat down on these mats in the streets to wait for Her Majesty the Queen. There was lots of people and even an orchestra waiting for her. After about 45 minutes, she finally arrived. The people were chanting something, we have no idea what. We couldn't see much of her, but it was super interesting to experience the whole procedure. My first impression of Bangkok was really, really great. I expected the buildings to be higher and the traffic to be even crazier. You can reach everything on foot easily and there are barely any other people in the streets. The food is great and it is so cheap. I can't wait to share more of my time in Asia with you guys. If you like this video, then definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see the next of all the videos in Southeast Asia. I definitely hope to see you in the next video. Bye!